Squat is a fundamental movement to conditioning the body. So it's something that you want to include in your daily living as well as your training program and something you want to spend some time conditioning quite heavily once a week. That being said, if you do really deep lunges, then you're going to get most of the value um, just by going very deep on that front leg, so you're getting that nice squat action there. But if you want a little bit more, then adding the squat in as well is going to be beneficial. So I like to start people out just body weight, trying to get them to push their knees forward, stick their butt out, stay fairly upright. Now there's all different challenges that are occurring with this, with the ankles, with the knees, with the hips, uh, with the lower back and developing that. Some people are just very tight. So mobilizing the ankles, mobilizing the knees and the hips are all going to help improve that position. Uh, and loading it up for some people does make it easier to get down. Uh, but you want to make sure that the spine is conditioned and it's strong and it can handle the load. There's no point putting too much load in that somewhere in the chain is inadequate. So if you're adding weight at the beginning, just using a light dumbbell to the front and just working that range that you can get, getting a good pause at the bottom, coming back up. So for this, this is something I want to see from everyone, from the side and from the front, so you can see the angle that you're getting to in the knee and the hips the lower back, how deep you can get down without the butt tucking under and without losing that curve in the lower back, and then what position you come up in. Want to see it from the front as well, just to see how wide you need to go, what stance you're using, left to right variants, coming down nice and deep, driving up. Um, using a kettlebell or a dumbbell in a front loaded position, getting that down, highly valuable before moving into front racked or back squats uh, with a barbell, even though you're a lot heavier with those. These will just help you get more control, more awareness, develop a lot of strength. Now, if you are going to add extra load, you can make them a lot heavier by just doing a lateral style squat. So here I'm putting more weight into this one leg on the outside and then I'm using the adductor on the inside leg. So coming down like that. Now depending on the person, some people have a longer femur, so they'll need a wider stance. Some people have a longer torso, like myself, and it makes it easier, plus I've got really good ankle range of motion, so it just makes it a lot easier for me to stay more upright in a squat if I push those knees forward. Uh, if your ankles are tight, your heels are going to lift. If your fingers are long, you're going to want to use a stance, a wider stance, or you're going to feel yourself tipping right forward and not fall backwards. But all of these things can be improved. Obviously, your femur length and torso length is set, but you can improve the ankle range of motion. So people with long femurs have to get really flexible in their ankles to be able to get a better position. And that's something that I really push people to develop as well as getting good hip strength, good adductor strength, so you can use that wider stance effectively. Uh, you can also use a slant forward like this if you don't have that adequate ankle range of motion, so it's like an instant fix. And you can see people, they get on there and they can come up and down and keep a vertical position there. Obviously, you've got a decent angle there, which lets you get the knees right forward. Um, but it also, that's a great one to condition the quads with as well. Anyone that skis, highly valuable. Uh, and then, if you've got those weight shift ones down, you can easily progress without weights using that short style split squat. So you're going to bend forward through the hips, that's more that single leg squat with just a spot from that second leg just to come up. So that one there you want to work towards, you know, ideal for me is being able to get people to do 10 good reps with a knee tap and coming up and maintaining a good position. It's not as deep as going right down into a pistol, uh, which is going to require a lot more hamstring flexibility uh, and 
usually for most people I've very rarely seen people being go all the way down in the pistol without rounding out the back. Not that that's a bad thing in a pistol squat because when you're going down, there's no external load going into the spine. Um, so you can come down like that and have that back rounded out and come up and you're not really putting excessive force into the spine because there's no external load. Um, but if doing that type of position with lots of load is gonna put extra pressure on the lower back. Now, that being said, you're gonna see the strongest people in the world um, that lift the heaviest squats, uh, lift the heaviest in the squat and the deadlift, a lot of them will round their back. And these people have very strong lower backs and connective tissue in the lower back uh, and musculature and they've developed that pattern and they're strong in it. Um, it's, but for most people that are sitting down uh, for long periods every day, their back's not that strong. It's much better to use the bigger hip um, joint, the ball and socket joint to take most of the load and keep the spine in an isometric position. Uh, from years of working with people and just that being a vulnerability, uh, it's not something that I encourage people to do with heavy loads, especially if they're starting later in life. Uh, you can build up that connective tissue strength, but I find that if you are going to push yourself a bit heavier, using a neutral spine is always going to be more beneficial. So getting those squats down, but just the basic one is the one I want to see. Film from the side, just about a quarter of your body weight as a basic standard, but if just free weight, no weight, and just having a look at that from the side and from the front before you progress into heavier versions, so if we can figure out what's going on, so that, that way your development is a lot faster. Uh, but get into your squats, get them done. Uh, for programming, if I'm doing a split program, I'm doing upper body and lower body separate, on the leg day, I'll get my lunges in first, then I'll do some squats. So it might be something like on the slant board if I want to condition my quads more, or just basic barbell back squats or front squats or even overhead squats. Uh, or it might be I'm using dumbbells or doing a lateral squat, or just a really simple single leg squat. But I usually squat second after lunges, and then I'll go into deadlift work after. Now if I'm doing a whole body program like I use with my clients or I'm pushed for time and I just didn't get time that week to get all my training in, uh, but that rarely happens because it's a priority for me, but the way I train my clients is that I'll get them to do, if they're doing even only one session a week or two sessions a week, they'll do the overhead pull, overhead push, lunge work, then in the second program they'll do a bent row, that way they're getting some hamstring work, that bend pattern, do a horizontal push like in push up or chest press and then they'll get their squat in so they'll do one two three and then go back to the bent row uh, it's a lot more taxing on the body doing it like that you're not going to lift as heavy in your squat but it's, it's efficient and it gets the whole body working and it gives people great value uh, that just don't have the time so that they're getting good return on the time that they're spending in their training and that may be you and that might be the way to go so that way you get it done every week and you can progress that way. You're always going to progress faster with a split program, but if you're not training at all because you just can't get it all in and you kind of stop training because you feel it's just too hard, then being efficient is much more important.